Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Okay, so today is going to be a little bit of a different video and I'm going to try and make it try and make it short and to the point. Um, now, uh, I wanted to tell you guys uh, what has been going on with me and update you in, um, and I know there's been a couple of videos up, but they were already pre-recorded videos, just so you know, like some videos were pre-recorded. So I haven't actually technically filmed in probably two weeks. Maybe this is my first time recording in two weeks worth, maybe longer. Um, okay, so some people do know what's been going on with me. And I know I've had several people asking me, am I okay? Where I've been? Um, just, you know, I have had a few people asking me some questions and stuff. So I got, I got to thinking maybe I should come on here and tell you guys because I don't know what's going to happen and what's going to go on neither. So I just thought I would give a heads up, you know, um, for those people, you know, that maybe wanted to come here for some beauty related things, this is not the video. So if you want to click out, I will not be upset. All right. So, um, where to begin? I guess basically uh, a few weeks ago I was having some nosebleeds and they were pretty intense and I do take blood thinner. I do take a blood thinner and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Obviously I'm a woman that's overweight, obese, and I was actually in the process of trying to get ready to do some uh, weight loss because I have been wanting to do it. I got discouraged with myself, mad at myself, um, because I promised myself when I turned 50, I would lose my weight and didn't do that. Like I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I mean, I'm a girl who loves her food and that's just that, you know, I mean, um, to find the willpower and stuff like that. It's been, it's been difficult and stress can do that a lot too. Um, so that doesn't help neither. But anyway, so going back to the nosebleeds and everything, I do take blood thinners and some other medications and everything. I had another one and it was a little more intense than the other, the first one. So I wanted to talk to my doctor. They had me go out to the ER and get checked, blood work checked and all this other kind of stuff. And everything seemed to be okay. And they just took me off my blood thinner. I have to go and figure out like what they're going to do with me on that part. But everything, my blood work came back fine. You know, everything was fine. So that was on April 10th when I went to the ER. That weekend on Saturday, I started getting severe abdominal pain. I didn't think nothing of it because, um, you know, I have had, um, you know, some kind of gas pains before, you know, we've all probably had that before. And at first I didn't think nothing of it, but then they were getting severe. They're getting tense. Um, I wasn't feeling too well and I just, something was different than the norm. Come along on Sunday, still have, I was still having the pain that Sunday, but later on I was running a fever as well as on Monday, still feeling the pain and running a fever. And Tuesday was the day I see my doctor because I was following up after the ER visit I had on the 10th of April. So April 17th, I was going to see my doctor to follow up and I told him I said you know here I am supposed to be here for my blood thinner and talking about it and the blood nose bleeds and then I told him about my situation he did put me on two antibiotics and he thought possibly I might have diverticulitis and which I have heard of that I had to look it online I'm gonna look more into all that kind of stuff but he seems to have thought you know I have diverticulitis Wednesday, I was scheduled to get a CT scan that I did not get because, well, you know how insurances are now. And since things got even more changed, another insurance that I might be able to use, I have to get an ultrasound done first before they'll do a CT scan. So it's crazy ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's basically where it's at is I'm going to have to get an ultrasound done, which is scheduled for Monday. And then I guess we'll go from there with the CT scan and all these different things. In the meantime, if I have to go to the ER, that's probably what I'll do if something terrible happens. Now, I did have my gallbladder out because I know some people were asking me that. I did have my gallbladder removed years ago um, after my first child. Uh, I did have a full-on hysterectomy a couple years ago, which was very scary. Um, I ended up in ICU and it was scary, scary. I don't know. I'm just at the I don't know so that's where I guess I will stop here 
and uh, yeah, when I know more information, I will let you guys know and update you on that. In the meantime, I'm going to do a couple of videos um, from this one here that I'm recording. So I'll have a few pre-recorded videos you'll probably see in the meantime. Um, I got tagged by some of you people out there, and I know you know who you are that tagged me, and I just obviously <laughs> haven't had the, the time to do the tags. Which has been frustrating because this is my place too, you know, but I just, I haven't felt well. I just was in um, pain and um, just not feeling too well. But that's where I'm at right now. And like I said, uh, I will update you guys. So, all right, beauties. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for those who have said some prayers and been thinking about me. Um, contacting me, um, just, you know, all the support in general from my people that's been here for so long and who are new here. Um, I hope you stick around. Yeah, I'm going to have um, some other videos coming up here soon and get them up and running and everything. So, but I appreciate you guys so much more than you'll even know. I don't, I don't feel like saying like this video because I just don't feel like this is, is one of those videos where I'd say, give me a thumbs up kind of a thing because well, just to me it just doesn't seem to be. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, of course I would love to have you. So you can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below. Please hit the bell to this next to subscribe button because it will notify you by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. And also, please be kind to one another. As Kay would tell us, Kay Carter, um, be kind to one another and smile. You never know when you might get one back. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. I think I got a little lipstick sticky on my, my finger. Bye.